five, four, three, two, one. Hello, hello, hello. Hello and welcome. Welcome back to Space Engineers on the Xbox, on the Series X. And today I want to fill in a gap in my videos and talk about this blue block here. Now, actually, what I want to do is I want to talk about gravity. Or specifically, a handy dandy block here known as your gravity generator. Gravity generators have an interesting interaction in space engineers. Get one powered up. They work, as you may know, on players. Projecting a gravity field out on the grid, around the grid, and they can be adjusted, as you can see here, to 150 meters. And if you want to see what that looks like, that's a maximum gravity field. Now how I did that was first of all on the gravity generator I put it onto show on hood and then here I clicked show gravity range. It's the same as showing any things like sensor field range. So that in mind Let's just turn off this gravity generator again. So it's not just players that gravity generators affect. It also infects. So I just pop open my spawn menu. Let's throw some cobalt ore haphazardly around in space. a little things like ores and that can get caught in the gravity field you can see this little bit of cobalt ore uh, or uh, here pulled down. Things like metal plates or um, even metal scrap will get pulled towards a gravity field. There's another interaction though which makes gravity generators even more interesting. And that's what I want to talk about. Now, the first thing you're going to want to know is that if you take your common or garden space engineers battery and you stuff a artificial mass block on it like so and then you slap a gravity generator on that artificial mass block, what happens is it pushes or pulls the artificial mass block along the gravity field and creates by a very fast accelerating grid. This is commonly known amongst the space engineers community as a gravity drive. And the thing is, you can use a gravity drive to propel a grid, but you have to be aware of some things about it. For a start, let's say we've got my blue box of doom here, and we want to move that rapidly in this direction without worrying about thrusters. And bear in mind that on standard four 
mass blocks and four gravity generators consume the same power as one ion thruster. And I can tell you now that four of those artificial mass blocks and four gravity generators accelerates a grid at massive speed. I mean, this is uh, absolutely brilliant for getting a grid up to speed fast. But if you build, say, a gravity drive on top of a grid like this, you're not going to make it go forwards. It's going to spin off into the distance, tumbling through space like a forlorn blue dice on forever. What you need to do is be aware that gravity drives work on the center of mass. And to show the center of mass in Space Engineers, it's just the same as we did with the gravity range. We click show center of mass in the info section and then move around to the, the darker side of this. You'll see that there is the center of mass represented by the axes and the red dot in the center. That will move around this grid as you build on it. So if we want this thing to go straight without deviation, what we can do is we can pop down a battery along the center of mass. We can pop down our artificial mass block and our gravity generator and that will move the grid forwards with no deviation at all and the question is can i turn this blue block into a grid that i could ride in along that direction and the answer is yes first things first we're gonna slice our box down the middle and we're gonna pop a way of controlling things next we want a battery then we want our artificial mass block and what we want to do with that is we want that round here because what we're going to do now is we're going to turn that block off so we don't get any interaction from the gravity generator whatsoever and we want to jump into the cockpit when we're in the cockpit hold down the up direction on the d-pad and we just want our artificial mass block toggle on off now i'm gonna save this so I've got a place to jump back to and if you look at our speed at the moment zero meters a second if I activate the gravity drive you'll see that we get up to 100 meters a second in no time at all and we are zooming away at 100 meters a second so i mean space engineers is capped at 100 uh, even though it's doing 104.38 we are pulling away rapidly so if you look at our center of mass it's still in line with the center of the blocks because we've got the gravity generator sticking out the back. And that's why this thing is basically going straight without deviating on an angle at all. If you want it to go faster, 
you'd need to build another set of gravity generators. And remember that one gravity generator acts on all of those mass blocks on your grid. So you could put more mass blocks down and one gravity generator would be acting on all of those mass blocks. So if you put four gravity generators and four mass blocks, that's one gravity generator acting on all four mass blocks times four gravity generators. All four of those gravity generators are acting on all four of those mass blocks. I wanted to make this, though, as simple as possible so you could play around with it. Remember, all you need to do to make one of these gravity drives is just slap down that particular combination of battery, mass block, gravity generator, and whoosh, you're gone. You could build a ship using this, or at least make it part of a ship. A lot of people do. Let's have a look at our more. Uh, let's add a couple more mass blocks. This time, what we'll do with these. As you'll see, I forgot to turn the gravity generator off. And that's what happens. You create a spinning cube. So always remember, when you're dealing with these, turn off your grab gen. In fact, what you can do to make life simpler, now you've got a cockpit, just ensure you toggle this particular one on off for now so what we could do is we could add i think along this plane here a couple of these mass blocks and what we'll do again is we'll turn them off. All I'm doing to turn them off is going into the control panel on them by pressing X, then X again to toggle on off. And this time, just going to, let's see, we want loop, loop. Turn these on again. And the reason I want to turn this one back on is now I'm going to group up my things. So let's get rid of this. Hold down the direction on the D-pad and press X to clear the shortcut. And we want to make sure that we just turn on our mass blocks. So we'll group them up. Go into our control panel, find our artificial mass, select the first one, second one, and third one. And I'm just going to call them MB for mass blocks. Group them up, save them. And then I'm going to put them on toggle on off quick save both bumpers and x have a quick look on the outside watch our speedometer boom a few seconds and we are away at max velocity without a problem. And if I was to do that with an ion thruster, it would take probably about 20 seconds or so, if not more, maybe even 40, could be close to nearly a minute to reach max 
speed, obviously. These things are extremely efficient, and that's just three mass blocks, three gravity generators. But remember, each one of those grav gens is acting on each one of those mass blocks, which is why we went from zero to 100 in just a few seconds. Let's show you again. And we're at max. Obviously, the bigger the grid, you're going to need more of these to work, shift it. And remember, they are large grid blocks. Uh, unless you've got a mod that has small grid grab gens on it, you can only really do this trick with large grids. Although you can probably get um, some small grids to work with a little fiddling here and there. I haven't tried myself because I've been just looking at large grids for this particular demonstration. As you can see, extremely useful for getting that quick burst of speed. Now also bear in mind that gravity generators do not work on planets that have gravity already. They'll work about 50% effectiveness on moons, but planets with their own grav, no, you're not going to create a, a lift-off drive with uh, your grav gens and artificial mass blocks, I'm afraid. So there you go. That is a short introduction and tutorial on building grav drives. Remember that they have to be along the center of mass or the center of mass for the grid has to be like this for it to work properly otherwise they're going to go spinning off all over the place there you go that's it anyway that's all i have time for thanks for watching thanks for subscribing thanks for the support and uh, stay safe take care have fun enjoy the game there's a lot more coming I'll see you in the next one, which will be a discussion on share inertia tensor, why it's important. Because, yes, I've already covered that in a way, but I wanted to go deeper into it, show you how to set it up, and show you the actual effect on a grid. There is one I've done that has timer blocks as well, but I want to focus right down on share inertia tensor. Anyway, that's all from me. Bye for now.